All right, tuning access foils. So as you can see, the 999 is already uh, properly sanded, the trailing edge and the surface is done. So all the paint is removed and this is 1099 that I'm gonna do right now. It has all the paint. The problem when I'm doing it is if you touch all this paint, it's just on top. So it's like all the bumpy stuff on top of the foil. But the same as this one, it's not good. And the surface itself is very sticky. It needs to be redone with like 2000 grit sandpaper. So this is what I'm gonna do. And also the trailing edge. It needs to be done on the pressure side, which is basically on this side. Yeah, this needs to be redone on the pressure side. I link the video where the guy explains how to do it properly. But right now it's the from the factory. It's too square, too noisy. Not the best situation. You can improve it with some sandpaper for sure. So I'll just show you how I do it. Start with 360 wet and dry sandpaper and some sanding block. Throw some water in it. Okay, now let's do trailing edge. So right now, like I mentioned, it's super square. It needs to be rounded on the pressure side. And there is a lot of mater material to remove, so don't be shy when you're removing. This is 360. And keep changing the angle. Probably can't see it on the camera, but Basically, uh, you see it's like maybe 3-4 mil and then it's like you have this lip as it goes down trying to round it up. So first I'm removing the material and then I'll round it up at the end. And this side is not done, you see there is a square edge. This one is not sharp yet, but uh, sharpens is this one for sure. Alright, now it's finished perf. So if you now wipe it, it's com first of all it's completely different to touch, different color, it's like shinier, and you can tell right away it's like mirror finish. Yeah, I noticed the difference right away on 999. It was like wow, it's like different foil super slippery. I guess it's going to be a little bit more glidey. I don't know why they don't do it on the factory. Probably extra cost. Yeah, and the paint on top doesn't make any sense. It just creates this like uneven surface. But it's probably cheap to do so. So as you can see, touch all this paint is just on top, so it's like all the bumpy stuff on top of the foil. But it's like super slippery on the surface. And on this side, if you can see, it's a trailing edge. This is pressure side, so it's mounted basically in the water. In the water, it's like this. So from this side we just sand it. It's not sharp, 
but it's just enough. So it doesn't make any noise and more efficient in the water. This side I probably do a little bit more. It's thicker part, so you need to remove more material on this side. Here it's pretty much enough. After you do the front wing, do the same to the stabilizer. Basically, the only difference is the pressure side. On the stabilizer, you would do the trailing edge from this side versus on the wing you would do it from the bottom in this position and here it's from the top and another thing you can do to improve the performance is to put a shim but not the one that comes in a package you need to 3d print this one so this shim makes the stabilizer flatter in relationship to the fuselage the one that comes with the package creates even more downward angle you don't want that it's going to increase the drag so you want the opposite that's how it looks installed versus the one that comes the package will lift this part now this is finished part